number three uh, on our video series tutorials on how to pray so you know we've talked about what prayer is and you can go back on the YouTube channel and look those up but I think one of the issues with praying is a distracted mind I know I've had that problem for the last uh, 40 something years of me having a quiet time and spending time talking to God and one of the things that uh, happens with me when I get up early in the morning to go pray and uh, or if I'm walking is your mind begins to wonder you begin to think about what bills you didn't pay or uh, you begin to think about situations in your life or maybe something that you have to do at work something you forgot to do something that you need to do that day when you go to the store and so while you're trying to pray all of a sudden you notice that your mind is thinking about all of these other things and so if you have like a 15 minute prayer time all of a sudden you realize that wow that 15 minutes went by quick but 10 minutes of it was your mind wandering on all these issues and five minutes of it was true actual talking things over with God and so I've tried to find ways that would help me to not get so distracted one of the things that I do is I have like a maybe a prayer list or like a prayer agenda and it really does help me to keep focused one of the things that I do in my prayer time when I start praying is I just thank God I always begin my prayer time with God I'm thankful and I thank him for people things uh, issues in my life and then I go from thanking him uh, to just kind of a worship just you know God you're awesome uh, God I thank you that you love me I thank you for your word I thank you for the people that you've put in my life uh, and so I just spend some time in praise and and as I do this I'm looking at my list and so I'll kind of start off with this and the second part of my list and the third part of my list um, what I do on my list the third part is sometimes got to put a scripture on my heart and I'll just type it out on my list maybe on a, a, a notebook or if you use a piece of paper maybe your phone your smartphone and I'll look at that scripture and just read over it ask God to speak to me uh, through that uh, particular verse that he's put on my heart maybe you'll hear your preacher preach something or you hear something on the radio or a song and it has a verse so you type that in there and you leave it there for a month or two and you just read over that verse and ask God to speak to you through it and words will jump out and sometimes you can make little notes of things that he says to you and and then after I get through that I start praying for those that are closest to me my family uh, I pray for my wife and certain things I even write down that I'm praying for her about and then my children my, I always put what I'm praying for them and their families and uh, so I pray for you know my family situation and you know you just a lot a minute or two to that if you're gonna pray for 15 minutes then you can't put a lot of time there so you just quickly have a few things that you want to pray for those and then uh, after I pray for my family I pray for myself and there's things that uh, maybe I'm dealing with uh, asking God teach me how to trust you more and one of the verses I've been meditating on is trust in the Lord with all your heart lean not to your own understanding in all of your ways acknowledge him and he'll bring it to pass and uh, Proverbs 3 uh, 5 and 6 and so I may meditate on that lean not to your own understanding lean not to your own understanding and so when I pray for myself God help me not to lean to my own understanding but to totally trust you to abandon myself in trusting you and then after I get through praying for myself I have a list of friends that I put and I just list uh, one two three four five maybe through ten I only allow a few names on my list uh, because you can end up with such a long list it gets frustrating and you're praying for a long time for those people and you may not continue doing that you may get kind of prayer weary and so I list that and uh, I, I get through that list I always pray for our president I feel like that's important doesn't matter who the president is I think we ought to pray for our leaders and so I pray for him and then I end that time 
again, I go back to just thanking them. And so if you'll do this, it, really serious, if you really want to spend 15, 20 minutes with God in prayer, uh, this will really help you to keep your focus so that your mind doesn't wander. And when you're done, you're going to feel so fulfilled. It's like, wow, you know, uh, I spent 15 minutes in prayer, however long, you know, you spend in prayer. I spend a lot more than 15 minutes uh, every day with God and have been for 43 years. But you've got to find out, and it'll grow and develop, and, and you need to make it enjoyable. Don't, don't make it a duty. Make it a delight. It's something that you look forward to. I love waking up in the morning because I know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be going into my prayer closet and spending time with God, shutting the door behind me, and just having a great time with Him. So I hope you try that. If you do, send me an email and tell me that it helped you. And you can also subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel and continue to get these. God bless you. Have a blessed day. Thank you.